On Saturday the 28th of January, the Wolverhampton Literature Festival will be delving into the world of black country literature and the dark side of it too. One of the four authors who are taking part in the event, which runs from 5 through till 7, is Kerry Adley Price. Hello. Hello. So tell us a bit more about, uh, first of all, the group of people we can expect to see on the day before we talk about you and your book. Well, there are four of us. We are local authors. Um, we write uh, novels and stories set in the region, which is unusual because m most stories are set in London <laughs> they are. Or, or the South. And so to have um, stories that are set in this area is unusual. But we're also authors that write uh, very dark, contemporary uh novels and, and stories so are we talking almost gothic in some of your themes here some of it is a bit gothic actually yes although i wouldn't say it's altogether that uh most it could just be weird <laughs> weird fiction yeah uh, there's an awful lot of weird fiction that and it's known as that that comes from the area uh joel lane was a big writer of uh so-called weird fiction from and, and set in the area and, and we like to think we're part of that genre as well and with this you know, strangeness, weirdness, however it is we, we, yeah. we uh, cover it, is that based on a quirky way of telling the stories of the people, some of the characters that you find, or, or purely because of the, the interesting history that the whole area's got? Um, you know, things like some, some of the ghost stories from the Midlands are mm -hmm. probably more terrifying than you'll get from Victorian London. I think you're right. I think there's all of that. Um, certainly the way in which they're told, um, in terms of narrative style, um, the fact of it being really, I mean, I think that the black country and Birmingham are really odd areas mm -hmm. uh, in that nobody really knows where they start and where they end. <laughs> and uh, there is a sort of a sense of exclusivity about the place, which, you know, defines it and makes it quite a dark and interesting place to write. So um, and, and we all know that black country characters are the most interesting people you know, on the earth. Absolutely. I mean, the black, but the black country is a place that has that history, yeah. but and it, it has this sort of comradeship that yeah. has, has been essential through the, the the industrial revolution and the work yes. that was done around here. And if you're working, whether it be down a coal mine, I mean, it's, a, it's sort of history that Wales also shares, um, and you know, Yorkshire and all that sort of area. It is very much north of London that you get this whole sense of community, you which you don't when you put too many people in one place which is a bit strange isn't Definitely. it really you also get quite a lot of secrets and lies and things that take place and i think that black country is a really good place to set those kinds of things you know things that are happening that perhaps shouldn't be happening you can't beat a bit of intrigue with the yam yam accent is that what definitely, you're telling me definitely <laughs> although i don't think any of us write uh in the black country dialect mm -hmm. Um, we, we all write in i suppose what's standard english but um the fact of it being set in the black country with black country characters makes it more weird and more interesting but it's got its personality it's got its understanding of the black country yeah. and that's the, the 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 intriguing part of it i mean i was once reading a book by tom holt and randomly in one of his strange science fiction based stories he was in Smethwick, um, oh. and that was that was ever so odd because he was, yeah. he was describing the yeah, Spond Lane yeah. Park, and I I, yeah. I know that from family who live over there, and That's right. it is weird when you find places you know in Being literature, in and normally it's something like St Paul's Cathedral, the Houses yeah. of Parliament, that sort of thing. Yes. But when it's actually part of our area, yeah. I mean, what sort of parts of the of the Black Country have you written about in your book, The Black Country? Well, um, I live in Stourbridge, mm -hmm. and um, my book, The Black Country, is set in Stourbridge and the sort of surrounding areas. I am, I suppose I'm obsessed with canals. Uh, and I think that's part of the uh, mystique, if, if you like, of the black country as well. So they always feature very highly in, in, uh, in anything I write, and certainly in the black country and in the next one that I've written. Mm -hmm. um, because I think there is a sort of a, a real gloom, uh, beautiful gloom actually about, about the canals, which lends it to all sorts of secrets and, uh, and danger. Well, you never know what's lurking underneath. In this day and age, it's probably a shopping trolley from Tesco's, but in the well, past, it could know. have been anything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, Dickens, when he wrote uh, Great Expectations, listen to me talking this, <laughs> um, th there was that kind of um, motif of the low leaden line of the river in the background, and I think there is the low leaden lines of the canal in the background, I think, that, that lurks in, in a lot of black country writing, and certainly in mine. And it's so much more than, than a river in many ways because yeah. it is man-made. Yeah. It has a history of people living, dying as part of its creation, yes. and then the story that then follows on from that and somebody disappearing down the coast, that yeah, could, could happen easily. Definitely. And people live there. 
people live on boats there. Uh, and, and, and the fact of the industry around it. There is a sort of a forensic nature to the area that makes it um, worthy of something terrible happening mm. that you don't know about but you'd really like to know about. Um, and so as a, as a writer, it's great to be able to put things in there that might or might not happen. Well, so as part of this talk that takes place at the Art Gallery, there are four authors, each of you getting half an hour to explore your literary work, and you'll be bringing some of your book to life with your reading of it, and you can't beat the author telling the tale, can you? Absolutely not. I think that, um, you know, whenever I've been to events like the one that's about to take place in Wolverhampton, it's been such a pleasure to hear people read their own work and, and then of course you get to know how, how it really should stand or how they wanted it to sound so yes and it'll be a pleasure to do it mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to that and you get an understanding of the characters yes yes well so hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed yeah. so what is the title for the event uh, unlooked for places so. which I think sums up everything that you can possibly think of about the black country really yeah absolutely and uh, somewhat left and, and neglected in uh, by parts of the country yes. but certainly living and vibrant as far as everybody here goes definitely definitely I mean who doesn't love the black country really uh, it's a fantastic place to be we all love it if you want to get along that is five o'clock at Wolverhampton Art Gallery on Saturday the 28th of January full details of all the program can be found at wallsliteraturefestival.co.uk and this event like many of the others is actually free to get along to so do check those out do get along and enjoy Wolverhampton's first literary festival